You know who spent the most sacred weekend on the Catholic calendar posting rants about the judge in his New York fraud case, making false claims about the judge's daughter, and reposting a violent image of President Biden that we are not going to show you here today. These rants violate the court's gag order. So why does he keep getting away with it? I mean, that image is so violent. What's the difference between what Kathy Griffin did and what he did? I don't understand. <laughs> it's worse for him, really. Well, I mean, I mean she's it, a comedian. She is, was doing. She did. Yeah, something. she did. Her, she did yeah. what she does as a comic. But it is are, are the uh, Secret Service going to be visiting him and giving him a warning about putting violent imagery? Well, they should. Imagery? They, well, they why, should. Why wouldn't they? Everyone should be treated equally under the law. We keep um, saying that. And we keep on saying that, and that really is true, and that's why I was supportive of the bond that he got being sort of, uh oh, Someone's speaking to us. The it? lights no. are flickering. Does uh, anybody else see the lights flickering? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was okay. I was very supportive of oh. the fact that his that his bond. Did you do anything bad this weekend, Whoopi? What's going on? <laughs> um, I I I was very supportive of the fact that the bond um, was lowered because mm -hmm. I think that that's how you would treat everyone equally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, bonds are supposed to not be punitive. But I will say this, you know. Trump has given people permission, <coughs> license to be politically violent. Yeah. And this is from the very, very beginning. Yeah. When he was campaigning for the presidency. He even said, I think, somewhere, you know, <coughs> uh, if you find him, you know, hurt that person, punch them, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. punch the hell out of them, and I will pay for it. I will pay for your defense. And so what we're missing now is this, um, the statesmanship that I think we're, we've always been used to, you know, the presidential office being above reproach. We, we're missing, in, in my opinion, the, the Obama statesmanship. You ain't we're missing get that the Clinton Trump. statesmanship. No way. <laughs> we're, we're the Hillary Clinton statesmanship. Yeah. And um, it's, it's, um, it's behavior that seems to come from the top down. People are saying, well, it's the January 6th, folks. It's even worse when it comes from the president or the potential president of the United States of America. So it, it seems to me, if you know history, political violence precedes a fascist mm -hmm. uh, dictatorship. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look Always. at World War II, mm -hmm. and you'll yeah. see. The Nazi thugs were beating up Jews in the street, and everybody just looked the other way, and then we had Hitler and millions of people were killed. I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but I'm just saying that there's political violence does precede mm -hmm. a fascist mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. um, I want to just point out something about RFK Jr., if I may, mm -hmm. because what you have are these enablers, and he's very dangerous. He was on Aaron Burnett the other night. Mm -hmm. Watch this tape. When people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is, is it an equal... Yeah, evil I mean, to I, Biden. I, I mean, listen. I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy, and the reason for that is President Biden is the first candidate in history, the first president in history that has used the federal agencies to censor political speech, so to censor his opponent. Because because Biden doesn't. Did he want... just say he's the first person in political? Where has he been? The silence is upon him. You think he would know history since well, he comes Well, one would Kennedy think, family. you would think, but well, go ahead. Does he realize, first of all, he's a threat, I think, more to Biden, just because of his name, yeah. that people out there, you know, they're not really looking into things. I think they yeah. think, oh, Kennedy, Democrat, yeah, I'll vote for him. Yeah. Even meanwhile, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's anti-science. His whole family is voting for Biden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and this type of dangerous rhetoric that Biden is a bigger threat to democracy than the man who wanted to throw over the government, yeah. overthrow he's also the government. He's wrong in what he's saying. So he's talking yeah. about the First Amendment it being the most important <coughs> one and that someone's squashing speech on social media. B President Biden is not responsible for private social media right. companies. The First Amendment is for the government. It is not apply necessarily to private companies who decide to ban you. And this is a man that the reason they kept, they finally took him off of the different, I don't know which one specifically, I think it was Instagram, was he kept shopping around these debunked who got they, taken off? Kennedy. Uh, RFK, RFK Jr. Kennedy. got Kennedy. taken off. That's why he's mad at Biden, although yeah. he should be mad at Instagram. But he got <laughs> mad because he said that uh, he kept repeating some studies and things that had been debunked. Mm -hmm. oh. And yet... Related to public health. Related to public health yeah. during a pandemic. But he also then 
will lie about that in every interview he does. So when people say you're, it's not just anti the vaccine now, COVID-19, you literally in multiple interviews ask people to approach strangers with babies and tell them <coughs> don't get that baby vaccinated because if 10 of us say it, eventually it might land. So then when asked about that, then you're an anti-vaxxer? No, I am not that. I never said that. So right. this man is like, he's so inconsistent, inaccurate, and he's pointing the finger at the wrong person in that interview. He's well, also a liar. And Aaron Burnett rightly played uh, an answer from one of his direct relatives uh, criticizing him running and saying he's not aligned with the Kennedy message. But mm -hmm. I was thinking about, I was spent the weekend in Florida, deep red Florida. Everyone I was hearing from was, Trump's going to win, Trump's going to yeah. win. And what got me thinking is this. I, th I believe this will be a close election. John Carl, Rick Klein, our, our analysts have said it will be close. But what will lose Trump this election? I don't think it's abortion. I don't think it's the democracy argument. I think it is his rhetoric and lack of impulse control. Because right now, voters are kind of tuning it out, but they're starting to tune in because they know we're in an election cycle. Don't they cycle. like his rhetoric, though? No, most voters, that's why he lost in 2020. It's the moderates and independents, not the 30% who are never lead, leaving him. Yeah. Because this past week, he had a brief good political <coughs> moment for a Republican. He attended a slain NYPD officer's funeral to juxtapose mm -hmm. you know, what he was framing as Biden hobnobbing with Celebrities. Choose what you like there, but for Republicans, it was good imagery. Really? One day later, yes. I, I, and I'm asking that because I was so offended. I because don't... this man, because okay. you know who showed up, yeah. and he was whether he was asked or not. This so is a man who didn't, didn't care what happened to the officers on January 6th. And Brian right. Sicknick, and exactly, that's exactly. Right. And just that's to right. finish the point, though, yeah. 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 Go ahead. to sorry. finish my I'm point sorry. here, um, I'm sorry. For his base, those were smart optics, but he steps on it a minute later by tweeting out this offensive, dangerous photo of Joe Biden that any child would see that and be like, ooh, mommy, that's not something I should share. He lacks the most basic instincts um, around impulse control, and I think that's going to hurt him the closer well, we get to election he seems to, to be a day. very violent person. Yeah. He has violent tendencies, or at least he portrays himself to be violent. I, you know, most bullies really won't win a fight, but he is certainly a bully, oh. and, and, and it's it's... I think, I think you have a point, and I think that as the weeks go on now and the months go on, and the more he's on TV, he can barely put a sentence together anymore, people are going to start to see that he's over it. The average, that, thank you, Joy. My point was the average American may not be paying attention to every crazy thing he's saying, but the more attention it gets closer to the but election... But that's why, why do you say John people, Carl and the rest of them are saying he's going to win or in Florida? No, We're only... No, no, no. They're saying it's going to be a close. Well, because of how our be. electoral system the, is... The, the numbers are starting to shift they, and going in Biden's favor already. But Battleground states are what college. matter, and our, our elections are decided by half a million votes in a number of states. And you have RFK right. Jr. running, which can yeah. split votes and poll. So and I'm going to remind everybody that this is not up to this panel. What happens election day is up to you and me and them and everybody else. So remember, remember. This is this is in your hands. This is in your hands.